Saunders? Did I can't hear? Hello? Okay. Um, Coach, can you hear? Yep. Okay. Bob, you want to go first? Hey, Eric. How you doing? Good, good. How are you, Bob? I'm good. Back here in the United States of America. Um, well, man, you guys got off to a great start. Uh, you know, I, I think it was 10-0 and then 35-17. It kind of coasted from there. What did what, you think of the start? I guess just the overall play. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, you know, I was, I was happy with, with a lot of things. It also gives us a, a really good barometer, too, of, of uh, you know, things we have to work on. I thought we were really, really, really undisciplined uh, defensively. We got to become much more solid defensively. but. Um, you know, happy with the fact that I thought we played really, 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 really hard. So uh, happy with that for sure. Kind of had to chuckle when I saw them tee you up. Did you say something in Spanish or English or what was the deal with that? Started off in English, ended up in Spanish. Okay. And then we're, you know, I know Nick had 17. I assume his fingers. Okay. What do you think of his play and anybody else uh, stand out to you in particular? Yeah, I thought that uh, Nick did a really good job. Obviously, uh, you know, sat out the last week of practice. He had the doctor's appointment on Friday uh, afternoon, but we had a practice Friday morning so that the guys would be off their legs a little bit. So um, I thought he played really good. He got a little bit careless with the basketball a couple of times. Um, as, as our whole team did, we had 11 turnovers, at least according to Kaywood, which I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but <laughs> Um, you know, I thought we shared the ball and, and Nick provided a, a real scoring punch for us as well. And K Kamani pretty active. What'd you think of him? Yeah, I thought Kamani did a, did a fabulous job, um, you know, for sure. Uh, played hard, came off the bench, uh, played with great energy. Uh, I thought he played really, really well, which is, which is what we need from a returning player. Okay, yeah, I'll turn it over to the other guys or turn it back to Mike. Th thanks, Eric. Curtis. Or Fuller. Turn it back to Fuller. Coach, you, you, you guys have been beating up on each other for a couple months. You finally got to mix it up against somebody else. Um, I guess, what were your overall takeaways from, from what you saw today? And was there anything that surprised you that maybe you didn't expect that you saw from the group today? No, I thought, uh, you know, defensively, again, I thought we just gambled way too much. Um, we have to become way more solid. Um, you know, I, we, you know, our athleticism was, you know, was, was obviously too much for our opponent. Um, but having said that, you've got to understand when to gamble, when not to gamble. Um, I think our players, you know, played, played really, really hard. And again, you know, we'll, we'll have tape now to evaluate. Thought we had some really good, you know, not many people are going to talk about Barry Dunning. I thought, I thought Barry played really well. I thought Brazil did a great job running the floor and finishing. I thought our guards did a great job throwing lob passes. Um, so a lot, a lot of real positives as well. Anthony Black in the middle of the zone is, is really, really effective because he's got such great court vision. He can throw skip passes. Um, so I, I thought there was a lot of really positive things as well. And then this is this is Bob Holt math, but I think he had you guys down for 17 dunks today. Uh, and again, you've been practicing against yourselves. I, I know you have a lot of rim protectors that you're excited about. Are, are you surprised by that at all, or the above the rim play? I, I guess just your general thoughts on that. Yeah, no, I think the lob passes, that's something we work on all the time is, is we have a little one minute lob station that we do. And I, actually, I thought that we threw two bounce passes uh, to our bigs that we don't ever want to do. We, we, we never want to throw a bounce pass to a big. Um, so I think as, as we learn to get better, I think we're going to have more attack lobs. We had some, you know, so a baseline out of bounds lob, supposed to be a lob to Brazil. Uh, we did not execute that right. Um, so anyway, Scotty. Um, yeah, Eric, could you just maybe just go over what you saw from from Trevin and that that flurry that he had to start the third quarter? I mean, and, and just kind of just impressions on him. 
Say, say that again, Scotty. Yeah, just the third quarter flurry that Trevin opened with. I think he had eight points in a couple of minutes, and just kind of your overall thoughts on him him today. Yeah, really active, really moves. You know, can 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 change our transition game because really know at keeping the ball and beating people off the bound um yeah, obviously a great great lob threat and, and, and what we didn't see tonight from tv is that he's a really 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 good uh perimeter shooter as well and my i guess my other thing is just thoughts on uh ricky and, and jordan they had some good motor moments um or stretches i guess and just some some highlight plays for you yeah, Ricky, another great, you know, athlete. Jordan Walsh, both those guys can get out and train. I mean, we're going to have to be a team that scores in transition. Um, I, you know, I was, I was really happy with how we, we faced their zone. I thought it, you know, if we faced the zone, that would be the one thing that we might not be able to handle because we, we don't play zone. So we, we haven't faced it at all in practice. We've added uh, six zone offensive quick hitters. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a step in the right direction. You know, we got to get ourselves ready for the, for, for the next game as well. I think Nick may have hit three threes, and that was kind of the bulk of the perimeter shooting. But I remember, I think Ricky hit one in the corner, had a dunk earlier. Um, is is Ricky kind of – is he growing that the perimeter shooting part of, of his game? Are you seeing that? Yeah, Ricky really works on his perimeter shooting a lot. Uh, obviously, we're going to need Nick to knock down three-point shots without a question. Um, we're going to need Anthony Black to make a, a you know one or two threes every game as well, and and Jordan Walsh. Those are probably going to be our three point threats, and and then and then we hope to get you know some threes from from Brazil, um, and then Dunning can 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 make a three for us as well. Think you guys that's good? Yep. Thank Real you. quick, Bob, last one. Okay. Eric, you know, we tell from Twitter, you, you guys were having fun on the beach, sightseeing. How happy are you that you let the guys have some fun, but then when it came time to play, y'all took care of business? Yeah, you know, it's really interesting. With six freshmen, uh, with only two returners, I was not worried. I mean, today, you know, we, we did a shoot around out right by the beach. We, uh, you know, we, we did an activity that will be out on social media. Uh, tomorrow, um, you know, we played dodgeball on the beach. Uh, we played uh, volleyball uh, in the water with no net. Um, but I trusted that they would get off their feet at 2 o'clock. We had a team meal at 2 o'clock, and, uh, and they got a little bit of rest, and, and they came out and played like they should play. But we are having fun. We are focused. Um, you know, we, we, we ran through all of our sets on the beach. We ran through some defensive coverage out on an outdoor court. Um, so we're working over here as well, but but we certainly are having a lot of fun. I can promise you that. Okay, thanks. And you know, Curtis, Curtis didn't seem like he, he thought my math was good. <laughs> hey, those guys holding the banner did a, a C plus job. <laughs>